Five Israelis were injured after a firebomb was thrown at their car near Bet El on Friday afternoon. Ynet is reporting that one of the victims is a four-year-old girl. Also on Friday, four Palestinian schoolboys ages 12 to 14 from East Jerusalem have been arrested on suspicion that they plan to carry out a stabbing attack at Damascus Gate in the old city of Jerusalem. Israeli police said on Friday that the four were caught smuggling a backpack with knives into the old city. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that Israel violated Iranian airspace in 2012 in what is perceived by the U.S. as a dry run for a strike on Iranian nuclear facilities, even as American officials concealed secret talks with Tehran. According to the report, nerves frayed at the White House when the U.S. discovered Israeli air activity over Iran. Washington dispatched an aircraft carrier to the Middle East and also prepared attacked aircraft. In case, as one senior American official told the Wall Street Journal, all hell broke loose. The fractured nature of the intel also caused the U.S. to believe, mistakenly, the Wall Street Journal said, that Israel had already carried out a dry run for an attack on Iran and motivated the decision to keep Jerusalem in the dark about the secret negotiations it was holding with Iran. While Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas is spreading lies about Israel, the Palestinian president's brother-in-law has been admitted to a Suta hospital in Tel Aviv after undergoing surgery. In June last year, Ynet revealed that Abbas's wife had undergone surgery at a Suda hospital, the same private institution at which his brother-in-law has just received surgery. About a year ago, the daughter of Ismail Ahania, the head of Hamas in Gaza, received emergency medical care at Tel Aviv's Ichilov Hospital after suffering complications during a routine procedure. It seems that while Palestinian leaders incite to kill Israelis, the state of Israel continues to save the lives of their closest family members. The escalating violence and turmoil that has spread throughout Israel in recent weeks did not stop the Israeli fashion industry from showing off their wares to enthusiastic foreign buyers in a highly successful Tel Aviv Fashion Week. Organizers say that the event was a great success both in terms of collections and attendance despite the tensions. More than 1,200 people attended each separate show, eight a day, over the past week. For the Rebel.media, I'm Miguel Hecht.